Hey guys, what's going on? In this video, let's talk about DxO mark. You might have heard about this word DxO mark, but why we are using this DxO mark and what is it used for? In this video, let's find it out. Before starting with the video, if you guys haven't subscribed to my channel, then go and hit the subscribe button for this kind of interesting video. Now let's start with the topic. DxOMark is a website who produces rating for different cameras, lenses and smartphones which are having great cameras. As the new smartphones are having great cameras and the smartphone camera has already replaced the point and shoot camera. So in 2011, DxOMark started reviewing the smartphone cameras also. So. Let's start with the DxO mark and how it really works. Basically, this DxO mark is a score by looking at which we can judge the camera performance. This is a number which provides the rating of that smartphone camera or any other camera. DxO mark camera sensor score measures the quality of raw image captured by that particular camera. The overall score consists of three things your color depth of portrait photography, the dynamic range for landscape photography and the low light ISO for sports and action photography. Looking at these elements, it gives a score for that particular camera. Now let's talk about DxO mark score for a smartphone camera. To measure the DxO mark for a smartphone camera, we consider these elements. First, the exposure and contrast then the color of the sensor, then the autofocus, then the texture, the noise and the flash. By looking at these elements, we can measure the DxO mark for a smartphone still camera. But for videography, all these elements were taken into consideration with the stabilization of the sensor. The flash is replaced by the stabilization and these factors were taken to measure the DxO mark for a video in a smartphone. Recently, HTC has launched the HTC U11, which is the flagship from HTC for 2017. And this device is having a DxO mark of 90, which is the highest for a smartphone till 2017. Last year, Google Pixel was launched and that phone is having a DxO mark of 89. And the camera was very good in that Google Pixel. So guys, DxO mark is just a number to measure the performance of that camera which can give us a basic idea how that camera really performs. So that's it for this video guys. Hope you guys like this video and got a good knowledge about DxO mark. So if you like this video then give it a thumbs up and share with your friends and subscribe to my channel. So thanks for watching guys. We'll catch you in the next one.